Why adding bundles to Shopify store is a must? Well, the quickest and easiest answer to this because with bundles, you can increase your sales without paying more on ads or without paying more on acquiring or retaining your customers. When you add bundles to your Shopify store, you will be directly able to increase your store average order value, thus make your customers spend more during the same visit on your store. And this is why you can directly increase your profits without increasing your costs. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can set up bundles on your Shopify store for free using the native Shopify app bundle. Well, it's very important to mention that this app, although it's free and amazing and it gets the job done, it has some limitations. But if you are just starting out, it can be more than enough. I will talk a little bit about the limitations, but again, I think it's a perfect option for anyone who's starting with bundles. The first thing you need to know is that this app only works with the online channel, the store's channel. It doesn't work with Facebook, Google channel, or any of these other channels. So if you created any bundles, they won't show on the other channels which is fine as a beginning. The second limitation, and you might find this one a little bit frustrating, is that you can't mix bundles with the subscription app feature. So you can't have your bundles on a subscription plan. And this is quite a problem to some businesses if your business has a subscription model, but if you don't have this model, in this case, you have no problem. The third limitation that I want to talk about is related to the number of variants or products you can add within the same bundle and how many different options you can have. We are going to check out this while we are creating the bundle, but for some stores, if they have a lot of catalogs, a lot of variants, this might be a limitation. If you want to know more about the limitations and requirements of this app, I will leave a link below from Shopify so you can get more familiar with the rules of this app. But again, if you are just starting out with bundles, I really think that this app can be more than enough and you can manage within these limitations and these requirements. So let's get started and let's see how to set up your first bundle step by step using this app. So this is our app and all you need to do is to install it on your Shopify store. Once you do that, you can start directly working with it. Usually with other apps, you need to activate them at the theme level, but with this app, this is not required. After installing this app, you will find it in here under apps and you can access it from here. If you are just starting out with this app, you won't be seeing any bundles in here. In my case, I have created some bundles already. So in your case, you just need to click on create bundle. And it's very important to note that within this app or with this app, you can create two different types of bundles. You can create a bundle where you can mix and match products from your store. And you can create a bundle where customers can buy several items from the same product. So let's say you can offer two, three quantity and so on. So you can offer a quantity bundle in this case. So from here, the first thing we need to do is to name our bundle. And this is the name your customers are going to see. So make sure that you name your bundle properly. I'm going to name it bundle one and click here on select products. And in here, I'm going to select the products that are going to come within this bundle. So I will choose this one first and this one, for example, and click on select. Once I do that, I can see my two products. And as you can see in here, we have an idea about the limitations, how limited we can be with this bundle. So in very few cases, actually, this might be a problem for you. So you need to double check it. Once you do that, you just need to click on save and continue. And you can even add more products if you wish in here. Okay, I will click on save and continue. So Shopify in here is going to create a new product called bundle one. And this product is going to be linked to the two products I have added to the bundle. So as you can see, I was redirected under products to this bundle product. I can rename it from here and I can modify it almost in the same way I modify any product on Shopify. So I can add a title. I can add a small description. I'm going to add anything. And here I can upload some media. I will click from select existing just to show you how this work. And in here you can add the category. And as you can see in here, they are telling us that this product is being created out of two other products from our store. This is important in case you are tracking your inventory within Shopify. So in this case, all the inventories will be linked. And when you scroll down, you can see the variants or the options in here. You can change the prices. So if you want to offer a certain discount or something, you can change the prices from here. So this is a very nice thing to do. And you can have access to meta fields like any other normal product. And in here, your SEO 
listing. Once you finish, you just click on save. But before that, let's look in here. Like first, it's only published on the online store and we can even decide on which markets we want to show it. And, and in here we can add like the normal product information and we can even assign a template for this product page. If you want to know more about templates, how to modify your product pages and so on, you can check this video on my YouTube channel because for bundles, you might need to create a different product page layout. So this video is going to greatly help you. Once you finish doing this, your bundle is going to be active and live on your Shopify store. Now let's save and publish this bundle to see how it's going to look on the front end. So I will click on save. Again, the status is still draft, so I need to make it live. Don't forget this. So after saving it, I will choose active and click on save. You can always previewing it by clicking here on preview. And as you can see, this is my bundle. Okay, for sure you need to set it up way better than me but as you can see i have the title i have the different options and i can buy it directly from from here i have the image and i have a normal layout like any other product page again for your bundles you might need to change your product page layout in this case you need to work on your product page templates and to know more about this check this video so as you can see to set up this bundle within shopify it took us like just a few minutes and everything is working seamlessly without any problem. Now let's see how you can create a bundle, but this time instead of adding and mixing and matching products, let's see how we can do it based on the quantity. So I will go back to my apps, to the bundles apps, and this time I will create the bundle a little bit in a different way. I will click on create bundle. And again, I will name it. So let's call it bundle two. I will select one of the products. So let's say I'm selecting this one. And this time I will click here on the three dots and add a quantity as an option. So I will choose this one and I will make quantity option one, two, and three. So in this case, I'm offering different quantities. I will click on done and I will click on save and continue. Again, Shopify redirected me to the bundle product page. I will just choose an image from here just to make the product page look acceptable. Then when I scroll down in here, you will see the different variants. In this case, I want to do things a little bit different and I want to add discount when the quantity is two or three. So I will click on this one. And for the two, I will make this one, let's say instead of 10, nine. And this one, for example, 14. And I will go to this one. Now I will go this, to this one and I will not only offer a discount, I will create a compare at price. So I will show you, I will put this one as nine and this one as 10. I will not continue doing this. Just this was an example to show you the different displays. Once I do that, I will go back to my product and I will publish it. So I will be able to preview it properly. Let's click on preview now. So, and as you can see, so this is the bundle and in here for the first variant, if I change the quantity, the price is changing, but even better for this variant, when I choose the quantity two, I'm seeing a discount. I'm seeing a compare at price. So this is actually going to look better in terms of uh, conversion rate because your customers are going to see how much they are saving. So if you want to do bundles based on quantities, I highly recommend you to use the compare at price feature. Adding bundles to your Shopify store is one of the easiest ways to increase your average order value and to increase your profits. And as you can see using this app, you can do this within minutes. Thank you for watching this video. And again, if you are interested in learning how to improve and optimize your product pages, maybe create different templates, maybe customize your existing product pages, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel next. See you there and happy learning.